All right, guys, we are introducing a new segment to Lip Smack in the podcast, which is called Ask Akiana. Ask Akiana. Hmm, has a ring to it. Let's see what uh, advice Akiana has for us today. All right, so Akiana, we have Joanna on the line today with us. She Hello. is. Hi! Everyone say hi! hi. Hello, hi. So Joanna is 21 years old and she has some relationship questions that she wants to uh, bring to your attention and looking for some enlightenment. So Joanna, go ahead and share with Akiana what's on your mind. Okay, so I've been dealing with a guy for six or seven years. I've been, he's, I've been dealing with infidelity with him since we kind of started maybe two, three years within. Mm-hmm. Um, but the thing is, is I don't want to let him go because I feel like I'm so established with him. I live with him. And it's like he does the infidelity with another person. And then he like comes back and then tries to like fix it. But I don't I don't know how to find the way in me and be like, you know what? I'm done. Um, the only way that you're going to be done is when you say yourself, you're done. The fact right. that you're talking about it, you're somewhat over it. Um, are you okay with the infidelity? Are you comfortable with it? No, I'm not comfortable with it, but it's like he, it like comes and goes like, we'll, we'll be fine for like a year, two years. Mm-hmm. And then I find something out that he's doing something. And then I approach him about it and then he lies about it. Okay. Do you know why he keeps doing this? No, he doesn't tell me why, and I ask him why, and he always comes up with nothing. So it's like, what what do I do? Does he want to be here? Does he not? When I try to leave, he runs after me. It's like, what you know? What should I do? He definitely wants to be with you because a man will not stay anywhere that he does not want to be. Um, mm-hmm. He stays with you because it's comfortable for him, and you allow him. You allow that behavior. You're saying, right. it's okay for you to go in the streets. I'm going to be right here. I know that you're going to come home and you're going to tell me you're sorry and everything's going to be okay. So I'm allowing this behavior. Right, right. And your friends could tell you, you know, you shouldn't do that. It's not going to matter unless you yourself, Joanna, you wake up one morning and you say, you know what? This isn't working for me. I don't care what anyone says. This isn't working for me. And him running after you, he would just have to run and he would just have to stand at an empty door. Because when you're no longer, when you're fed up and you're no longer there, you're no longer going to be there. Do you have anywhere else to live? Do you have to live with him? I mean, I can live with my mother, but I just choose to live with him. So that's, that's the problem is that's the mistake that I'm committing. When you're tired, you will get up in the morning. It's going to be in the morning time and you will do a nice big yawn. You will open the window. You will look at the sun and you will say, today is the day. And you will start packing your things. And no matter what he does, you will know that you're over. And you will go and move in with your mom. And it'll be over. Mm-hmm. You're right when it comes to that, 100%. Mm-hmm. No, no advice. No one can tell you when to leave. You yourself have to leave when you've had enough. But as of now, he's comfortable because it's okay for him to have infidelity. You're not going anywhere. Right. You're, you're, right. you're uh, no one I'm believes you. That. No one believes you that you're gonna leave, and that's true. That's that's the problem. Is nobody does. Everybody tells me that. Yeah, never no one believe believes you. Exactly. This is what you want. Exactly. Yeah, you're comfortable like that. So you know, stay there. Unfortunately, mm-hmm. amen to that one. <laughs> <laughs> amen to that one for sure. Um, let me ask you a question, Joanna. If yes. what. What do you deserve? Like, what's the main one thing in life that you deserve, I deserve? What do you deserve? To be happy, for sure. Are you happy? Somewhat. Do you deserve to fully be happy or somewhat be happy? Fully. I do everything right. Why why wouldn't I deserve that? You're not not convincing me. You're not convincing me that you deserve to be happy, though. I don't believe you. I think action, as far as me actually doing something about it, maybe they'll, they'll actually believe me. Okay. Mm-hmm. Do you know that action speaks louder than words? Yeah, uh, yeah but then it's, it's my fault at the end of the day because then he goes and gets me at my mother's house and then I take him back mm-hmm. again. 
Okay. Do you have a friend that uh, he doesn't know where she lives or a friend that's not so easy to access? Yes. Okay. Do you think you could stay there for maybe a month or two? Yeah. A hundred percent. Yeah. She always asks, tells me that. Mm. Why don't you do that? I don't know. I, I'm I'm afraid that he's just gonna be like, you know what? I've tried so hard. Like I'm letting her go now, and like he totally like forgets. So what you're, what you're telling me right now is that you're comfortable in this situation and you're not ready to go. So I mm-hmm. don't think you should leave. I think you should stay and let him, you know, be with the, you know, that's your community property. Yeah. Because you're not ready. You you haven't convinced me that you're ready. So it's not the time right now. One day you will be ready and there's no pressure. I don't want you to feel like there's pressure. You're just not ready right now. You haven't been fed up enough. Maybe if he comes home with a kid or will you take outside kids or what's your take on that? No, 100% no kids. I am against being or playing stepmother for anybody. Okay, so when the girl knocks on your door and asks for diapers, then you'll leave? Yes, 100%. Just making sure. 100%. That's out. (laughs) Um, I have a question. Um, how how does he make you feel? Like, okay, so there's a cheating, there's a this, there's a, there's a that. He said sometimes it's about a year and a half where yeah. things are good. During that yeah. year and a half when things are good, what does good look like? What does it look like and feel like? Um, he's actually communicating with me. He's actually talking, wanting to go out and do stuff with me. He... Um, comes home randomly with things and gifts and all this extra stuff um, and he just makes me feel like like to his friends like he'll choose to be with me over his friends mm. and it makes me feel like you know what I like maybe there's hope maybe there's hope but then as soon as he in other words starts to drink mm-hmm. it's like a whole 360 mm. he's a whole new person how mm-hmm. often does he drink he drinks almost every weekend. So he's nice Monday through Friday, Saturday, Sunday. He's a whole nother person. Basically, yes, because then he gets some alcohol in him and then he'll suddenly forget all the loviness and he has to go hang out with his friends and drink and party. And, and then I'm like, OK, like, you know, we can if you that's what you want to do, we can I agree to go with him. Just so he won't drive back drunk. Yeah, that's but the, yeah, a girlfriend thing to do. Exactly. So I go and I do that. But we just had an incident Saturday where he was to the point where he couldn't even walk and would not leave. So I left him there without a vehicle. And how did mm-hmm. he get home? That's the thing is I went to bed um, maybe like two, three in the morning. He's blowing me up, calling me, talking about come get me. Please come get me. Uh, my friends don't want to take me. I know I'm done. But it's like, why didn't you leave her the first time when I was constantly begging you, constantly waiting in the vehicle to be with you? Yeah. Mm. So, yeah, that's the, my, that's the thing. Mm. Do you record any of these conversations or do you, have you ever videoed him while he's drunk? No, I haven't. I've never, you know, I've never. I want you to um, get a calendar. I want you to get a, a desk size calendar. Okay. And I want you to put it in a closet. And every time he gets drunk, I want you to pull the calendar out. And I want you to go to the date in the calendar, exactly as it's labeled. And I want you to put he was drinking. I want you to take your mobile device. And I want you to record a segment of him drinking. And I want you to label it and email them to yourself. Okay. And I want you to put them in a folder and put my boyfriend's drunk file. Or, and I want you to do another one, my boyfriend's infidelity file. I want you to take that same calendar out every time you find out about a female, and I want you to mark right it on that calendar. Okay. Every three months, That's I want you to movie. visit that calendar. And look back at it. 100%. Correct. I'm, yeah, I'm down for that. That's definitely 100%. what I want you to do. Yep. That definitely convinced me. <laughs> Good. <laughs> my job is done then. <laughs> thing all right all right okay akiana i see you coming with the with the real smooth uh... <laughs> yes. down, akiana. <laughs> why thank you why thank you <laughs> all day well john i really do hope that this helps you i mean you are very 
um, transparent with us this evening and you're not the only one. I mean, the reason why she's able to give you such great um, advice is because we've all been there at one point in time. Definitely. You're not alone. Every, every woman goes through a segment where there's, you know, this one person in their life and they're like, Oh my God, you know, we really, really want this to work, but you're not about me. Like you, you make me happy when you're focused on me. But as soon exactly. as a butterfly flies by, you're, you know, which way did he go? Which way did he go? You, you're exactly you're just so all over the right. place. Yeah. Yep. Right. Right. Exactly. And um, when Akiana mentioned to you, like, basically, she was saying you're training him on how to treat you mm-hmm. because exactly. he gets to get away with it. Um, so ooh, girl, Akiana, you need to write a book, girl. Yes. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining our show. You're welcome. Thank you for the invitation, Akiana. You are so welcome. Thank you, Joanna. It was definitely wonderful uh talking to you and um Again, you guys are listening to the Don Chanel and Akiana Lip Smack in the podcast. Uh, we appreciate all of our listeners. I know I continue to see, say that throughout our podcast, but you truly do not know how much of a blessing that each of those listens and follows that we get and our feedback. We definitely enjoy it. So we just want to say thank you. Cool. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, guys. Let's get into some music. All righty. Bye, guys. Bye. And before I forget, I would like all of you to please go follow my business page, KennedysCoilOil.com. That is K-Y-N-E-D-I-S-K-O-I-L-O-I-L. What I do, I stimulate hair growth and I grow hair (laughs) with my lovely organic hair oil. I also cater to the men too. I have an item called Beard Drizzle. If you have stubborn hair or hair that's really, really just, it's hard and it's not manageable and you want it soft for the lovely lady in your life, pick up a bottle of my beard drizzle. For those of of you out there that also suffer with headache and depression, I have an item called Depressed Aid. It's such an amazing go-to item. You could throw it in your purse, throw it in your travel bag, wherever you are, put it in your car. It's always, always good to just, you know, stimulate your mind. Um, But check me out. Check me out. Thank you. Hey guys, this is Don Chanel. Thank you so much for listening to Lip A Smack in the podcast. We really do appreciate each and every ear that you lend us. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Also, just want to remind you that you need to be checking out flatlinecomedyshow.com. Again, flatlinecomedyshow.com. And check out the online comedy show produced by your girl, Don Chanel. And if you know me from YouTube, it's Hilarious Housewife. That's right. So the Hilarious Housewife presents Flat Line Comedy Show. All right, so make sure you check it out. Great pictures, great videos. You can check out our last show. Find out how you can have your own comedy show party at some kind of event. It's all good. So go ahead and check out flatlinedcomedyshow.com.